Hello Leo, this is your mid-November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Leos, but I'm hoping to get the majority of you. But this is for Leo, mid-November 2018 general reading, five card spread. We'll see what we can come up with the beginning energy, but this is for Leo, mid-November 2018 Leo. General reading for Leo for the masses. The main energy coming in for Leo, mid-November 2018. Hope your November has been going well so far. But I want to see what the beginning energy is. Let's see. We have someone's unable to make a final decision on something. I do not know what it is. You will. You will know what you know what it is. But it is a final decision that has not been made. Z on in reverse. Undecisive. You might have found out something about a behavior, a sneaky behavior. You could be breaking free from a negative behavior. I need clarifying cards to find out. I do have a new deck here that needs broken in. It's really hard to shuffle. Always have trouble shuffling new decks. But you had the Seven of Swords in reverse. Like I said, there are different meanings for the Seven of Swords. It's in the past. And you have dealt with be uh, sneaky behaviors in the past that you had to overcome from outside sources and a few of you, even of yourselves. But Seven of Swords, why are you there? In reverse for Leo in the past. Mid-November. This is the past, though. Remember that. You might have found out something from someone in the past. Someone you didn't want to think about anymore. Six of Cups in reverse. Can I get another card for Leo for the Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups in reverse? That was in the past. Yeah, you don't even want to think about them anymore. You felt someone did something a little sneaky, underhanded to you. And like I said, for a few of you, you might have done this to somebody else. But you put you didn't offer anything to them. You weren't you're not even going to decide anything about it. It's like you had enough of that. Obstacle. Someone may be controlling in your life. For some of you, you may be a little controlling, but this is an obstacle. Oops, something's trying to come out. King of Cups could have to do with a water energy or someone taking on that energy. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because I'm reading for the masses. I can't, you know, point it to any one water sign, but it could be someone taking on an energy. Someone's controlling and upsetting a happy home with the four of wands in reverse. The Emperor, the Emperor is in reverse, and that's someone who doesn't make a sound decision and they uh, they just like spout out orders. It's kind of unfair in a way. Actually, it is unfair. Current environment, you're not happy. Mid-November, you're not feeling like you got your wish in life. It's the Nine of Cups. So whoever's in controlling, over-controlling, kind of messed up your home situation. And now you're unhappy. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse for Leo? It's the main energy for mid-November. Why are you there, Nine of Cups in reverse? You know, someone's having sorrow and disappointment on somebody. Someone's really disappointed with somebody. Could have to do with that, you know, Seven of Swords in reverse with sneaky behaviors that came out and you broke free from it, but you're still not happy. Can I get another card for the Nine of Cups and the Five of Cups, both in reverse as the current environment? Yeah, you're not even thinking on them. You don't want to even think about it anymore. Bringing you too much stress. Outside environment, what's coming towards you? Six of Wands, victory. Could have victory coming towards you. 
or something's going to allow you to gain a victory somehow. Can I get another card for the Six of Wands? Gain a victory over our past betrayal, possibly. Oops. Breaking free. Un becoming unchained from a certain situation. Some entrapment you were feeling. You, know, you, know, you see things for how they are now with the Two of Swords. These all popped out, so I'm going to put them there. They had you turned around as the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you gained some kind of victory over possibly a past betrayal. Breaking free with the devil in reverse, seeing things how they are. It may leave you still a little ticked off because remember, you're not quite happy with the Queen of Wands. It could be a fire energy or someone taking on that energy. Could be an Aries or a Sagittarius or another Leo. But it looks like a victory is going to be had over this negative situation. But as the current environment, you're not happy and you're a little bit disappointed. You don't even want to think about it anymore. Like I said, it had to do with something that came out in a controlling situation that was a little overbearing for you. Now, final outcome. Maybe dealing with the Queen of Cups or you could take on the energy of the Queen of Cups. doesn't have to be a water sign. Sometimes you take on this energy as someone who's more stable emotionally. But if it's not you, you could be dealing with a, a Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, they're in the upright. And then, like I said, they're emotionally, they're emotionally sound, creative, understanding. Usually they're a good friend, so it could be a good friend. And why they're there, because maybe a situation you jumped into didn't work out, or maybe this person is slowing things down just a little for you, or you're going to actually slow things down with the full card in reverse. Can I get in? The, these cards just like to stick at first. They're all over the place when you first start shuffling them. But the Queen of, of, of Cups with the full card in reverse, why are you there for Leo? You straightened out. Why are you there? She's telling you, the Queen of Cups is telling you just not to walk away yet, just yet. Don't move on just yet to something else. Slow things down. You do gain a victory over a really harsh situation. And maybe you have a good friend there that's keep helping you stabilize things. If you don't know who this person is, look for them. You know, there's the Seven of Swords again. Maybe they help you with that sneaky behavior and breaking free from a, a situation that was negative. You got friends, Leo. You may not see them, but you got friends. And you will gain a victory over whatever situation was occurring in the past. I need one more card or a couple more cards. It's not telling me very much, except for that you do gain a victory over a negative situation and that you have the Queen of Cups in your future. That may stop you from doing foolish things. Ooh. Knight of Cups in reverse. Don't just accept any offer. Yes, yeah, it's, it's this person is pretty much telling you. Next time just don't jump in any old thing. So you don't have to move away or whatever, sorrowful. With a heavy heart. And don't let people take what's yours. Break free from the situation. And just don't, you know, take an offer from you just because someone looks like the knight in shiny armor, which they are not. And this could be for females and males, you know. Don't look for a princess in shiny armor when they're not, or a queen. But, now I want one more card so we can get done with this, but Leo, it's, it looks like you're gaining the victory, and you have a friend out there, if you look for them, someone who is emotionally sound, and will listen to your troubles, and probably give you really good advice about the negative situation that had occurred, 
like I said in the past for you. Could have to do with a lover situation. And coming out of feeling trapped from this with the eight of swords in reverse. So you're going to you're going to break free. You are breaking free. There's no doubt about that. You do gain a victory. Because with the eight of swords in reverse, you want this card in reverse. You want it in reverse. Because it's about breaking free. And so is the seven of swords in reverse about breaking free. From a situation, like I said, that is not positive for you. You do gain a victory. But at the current environment, you're still not happy. Because you're, you, you don't even want to think about what this past situation was. I'm thinking it's from someone in the past, someone who's controlling, someone who disrupted a happy home. And whoever disrupted a happy home could be also a water type energy. But you have someone positive in the end that does away with this foolishness. Okay? Breaking free, Leo. That's what you're doing. Talk to you later. Bye.